Hey y'all, Night Reaper here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to kick off chapter one of the Radtel RT900 with Bluetooth. Radtel sent us this radio for free to test out for y'all, so thank you for that, Radtel. And word is, there may be more Radtel radios to come. This radio was sent back to Radtel by a customer. Not sure why, but I did notice an issue with the antenna when I got it, so I have replaced the antenna, but I can guarantee this radio is working 100%. It has great signal reports, so I think it's a great radio to invest in. But uh, after I've used the radio a little bit, we will have a more in-depth review. But right now, we're just going to start off breaking it up into chapters and learning together a little bit about the radio. So today, like I said, we're going to be showing you how to use the Bluetooth programmer, which is provided on Radtel's website. But before we get to that, I want to show you how to turn the Bluetooth on. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the menu button. These buttons are double function buttons. The top does one thing, the bottom does the other. So we're going to hit the menu button. You can get to the menu by hitting the or through the menu, I should say, by going up and down, or something this radio has that a lot of radios don't, a VFO knob, which is also used as a channel selector, as we know. But you can use it in the menu, as you can see in the right corner of the menu, to scroll through, or you can just directly type in the number four and the number seven, because that's where we're trying to go. All right, now we're at the Bluetooth menu. I'm going to turn it off so you can see the Bluetooth symbol goes away, and then we'll turn that back on. All right, and then exit out. Now that we know how to turn the Bluetooth on, we're going to meet you over on the flip side on the phone screen to show you how to download this app and what settings you may need to change to get it working, so pay attention. Also... Please, if you have not subscribed and you own one of these radios or another radio that I've started working with, please subscribe. I'm going to be posting videos regularly on these different radios. And don't forget to like. I love that support and super appreciate it. And I love to know where you're seeing me at. So if you don't like it or you're not subscribing, at least throw me a comment in there so I know where my videos are getting out to. All right, guys, we're going to see you on the flip screen to get that programmer downloaded. All right, so we're on the phone side now. If you've never installed apps from an outside source other than Google Play or Apple Store, or uh, you've never downloaded something like an APK, you're going to want to go up here to your search bar and type in install, and I've already got it typed in there. Type that in that bar, and you're going to find something that looks similar to this. Install unknown apps. And then install unknown apps again. And then you're going to look for whatever app you're going to use to search on the internet and download this. I use Chrome. And as you can see, my switch right there at the top is already turned on. Once you've done that, we're going to go over to our web browser. The next thing you're going to do is search Radtel. I will put a link in the comments or description depending on what platform uh, you're watching the video from. But you want this website, the one that says Walkie Talkies and Two-Way Radios. And then actually below that you can see Programming Software 4. But we'll just go to the main website. But I think you can click that Programming Software 4. All right, so we're on the Radtel webpage now, and I'm on my phone. Like I said, a phone, a tablet. I'm sure you can download it for your computer, too. I will test that out. And we're going to be looking for the Support tab. When you click the Support tab, exit out of that. When you hit the support tab, you should see a tab under that that says software download. So let's click that. Then you're going to start scrolling down until you find the RT900 section. This is all Radtel's uh, different programming software they have. All right, 890, 590, 600, 470. We're making our way there. 
And just keep scrolling till you find it. All right, RT900 with Bluetooth. So we found it here. All right, so you can go into menu 49 of your radio to figure out which um, version you have here. But we're going to click this one because I've downloaded it before and it worked for me. So let's hit download again and then open. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to update the app or install the app for you? I'm going to hit decline because I don't want Google Play to check it because it's an unknown source and then it won't let me download it. And we're going to hit open. And there you go. You've got the programmer on your radio. And now we're going to show you how to program a channel and a repeater into the radio. So now what we want to do is connect the radio to your phone or tablet. So in the bottom right here, you're going to see the connect button. We're going to hit that and then you'll see a list of your devices. That is our RT900. All right, so we're connected. Now the next thing you want to do is read unless you've already created a profile. Then you can hit select profile, but let's hit read. It'll read the radio. And when it pops up, you'll see it's very similar to uh, Oddmaster, the way it's set up. So let's pick a blank channel. And first, I want to show you how to program a simplex channel or radio to radio. So we're going to use GMRS in this situation, but it would be the same for ham. So I'm going to type in GMRS 17. And then the frequency for that is 46. 2.600 and it'll automatically put it as the TX frequency and then we'll back out of this and you'll hit save now we'll name this profile because it's already loaded my channels learning since we're learning how to do this and I could go back and delete that later now we want to go home again. We want to hit select profile. If you don't select a profile, your right button on the right will not light up the right button on the right. So we're going to hit learning and hit right. It's going to load to the radio. So we'll give it a moment while it does that. All right, and I'm looking at my radio in front of me. It's powering back on. And I'm going to click up to channel 20 there. And it's in there. All right. So the next thing we want to do, hit connect again. And now we're going to show you how to put a repeater in on the Radtel 900. Walkie talkie. We're going to move a little bit faster this time. All right. Instead of reading the radio we're gonna click on learning and then go to profile and we're gonna go back to that same channel which was channel 20 and now we're gonna program it as repeater so we're gonna erase all of this and we're gonna put repeater in there and it might disappear from the screen. It does that sometimes, but it's in there. And then we're going to click on the TX frequency and change that to 467.600. Because there's a five step on GMRS. And then you want to put in your tones. So... As I do in all my videos, I'm just going to pick the 6-7 as the generic tone. And then the rest of these choices, as I've said in my Oddmaster videos, you can research and decide what you want there. But to be able to talk on the repeater, all you need is your two frequencies and how far apart they are and your tones. And we're going to hit save. Now what this is going to do is save it to the profile not to the radio remember that all 
Ah, you also have to highlight replace profile. Apparently, I wasn't doing that correctly. That's why we learn together, guys and gals. All right, so now we're going to hit right. It's already got the learning there in the center. So that profile is already pulled up and it's writing. And we're going to check to see if that worked out. It's finishing up on my radio now. Alrighty, my radio is powering back up. And we are going to check out channel 20. And it is there. Let's see. All right, and it is keying up as a repeater. So there you go. Very basic, very simple. That's how you uh, find the programmer, turn your Bluetooth on, and program simplex and duplex on the Radtel RT900. All right, with that said, I just want to show you real quick a little bit of a sneak peek of what the next video on this app and this radio is going to be about. We're going to explore the app a little bit more. So we explored the channel category, the channel information, as you can see at the top up there. But we also have frequency mode, which is your VFO. Um, you would think, why do you want to set up a VFO? But if you want to be able to jump on GMRS or ham repeaters in a certain band quickly because that's what's in your area, you can set up what kind of band you want it to be. And then you can go in and not necessarily put the tones in and have those preset unless you have the same general tone or CTCSS or DCS in that area. But what it is great for is you can change your, your shift to a plus if you're a GMRS talker, for example. And then your offset up here, you could change that to like um, your, your 5,000 step or whatever. And then you have optional features, which is basically your menu. So you've got all your menu options up here. You can add your DTMF tones in. So we'll go through this some more in the next video. Maybe we'll look at each individual option a little bit deeper maybe we'll get that detail we'll have to see maybe we'll just show you the basics but yeah stay tuned if you want to see more about this radio especially if you already own the radio or if you're interested in buying it or if you're interested in radio in general great channel to learn with me i always tell y'all i'm not an expert i just want to show you what i do and um Help people out if I can. That's what I'm all about. So this is the Night Reaper. We're waving 7-3. Hopefully this video wasn't too boring. We'll have to come up with some better ideas. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining me at 7-3. Until next time, this is the Reaper. We're out.